We also need to remember there's a lot of positive things happening in Loudoun County Schools. Dr. Aaron Spence held a question and answer session with reporters prior to appearing at the Loudoun County School Board meeting. He enters the superintendent's job after more than two years of tumult that thrust the school system into the national spotlight. It involved bitter battles over post-COVID reopening of schools, critical race theory, and gender policies. For some, we need to rebuild trust, and we're going to be working on that. But I also want to assure parents that the incredible experiences that their children are having in our schools are going to continue. Spence was asked if Loudoun County Public Schools would follow the Virginia Department of Education's model policies concerning the treatment of transgender students in public schools. It calls for school officials to defer to parents in decisions about their child's identity. We need to analyze the policies in their whole and see where they are compliant with state and federal law. And if they're compliant with state and federal law, we will implement them. If there are any issues with that, we need to work with our school board through those issues and figure out how do we meet the spirit of what may be in the model policies without violating state or federal law. Advocacy organization Equality Virginia has strongly opposed implementing the model policies. And we really need to be investing in our public schools right now, you know, paying our teachers well, getting them the resources they need. Um, and these model policies are a, a distraction from the, the real issues that Virginia students and teachers are facing. Dr. Spence says he is planning a series of listening sessions with the community. In Loudoun County, Jackie Benson, News 4. Students in Loudoun County Public Schools go back August 24th.